I won't say it started with this government. It has always been like this. It's just getting worse as the day goes by. Money is always missing. It's what I'm saying. This same ruling class from independence have not let go of this country. Because the, the problem did not just start. Everybody just wants to pretend as if the problem of Nigeria just started today. The problem of Nigeria didn't start today. Corruption really started after colonial rule with the educational system. Education teaches us that we say, we read in our books, the colonial master. It should be the colonial murderers. How can you call somebody who comes to rape your women, your children, kill you? You call them masters. So already the books we are given are brainwashing. We feel inferior. We are an inferior. Education teaches us to be an inferior people. And this is part of the corruption, corruption of the mind. Colonialism has made has suppressed the mind of the African. Colonialism with the with the law enforcement beat it out of us to protest. It took Europe 500 years to understand what they were doing was totally unacceptable and barbaric. The history that is so bad that and everybody has taken it for granted and nobody wants to talk about it. When it comes to Africa's history, everybody just talks about it as if it's child's play. Who took over after colonial rule? Because we know the colonialists gave power, they could manipulate these people, these same people, power. So they gave power to people they could manipulate. And people who took power from them by force were eliminated or assassinated. So Europe and America were still manipulating African regimes so they could still take the diamonds, the oil, or whatever they could. So they, they had control over Africa and the way Africa was governed. Now Europe wants to just sit back and say, no, it's not our fault. You have a bad leader, you have a good leader. You have blah, blah, blah. And Europe just sits back. And they are 100% to blame for our predicament today. Europe countries can be critical, but they must first take part of the blame. So when you want to be critical, you must first be saying, we are part of the downfall of Africa. Europeans cannot be critical as if they are the lords and master of democracy, especially to people that know this history. They must first be apologetic. And when they want to dabble in this politics, they must first accept uh, because they have been part of the downfall of a country like Nigeria, because they have dabbled in so much business. The multinationals are here. From religion, from corruption. corruption is not African. As Europeans are finding out, you don't have to be black to be corrupt. It has nothing to do with color. A bad human being is a bad human being, period. And Europe must take its fair share of the blame, as I'm saying, in Africa. And I don't blame as much as I'm being critical of the way things are going in Nigeria. I still understand why Nigeria is the way it is. Because if you don't understand where you're coming from, you can't understand where you are and where you want to go. So we are the way we are because of our past and we refuse to address the past and we want to remain in this dreamland and pretend things are all right. Someday, Africa will be free from all these bad things. One day.